What is up everyone? I'm KSCG and we have the latest episode of TF2 Analysis Anarchy. This one is titled Red vs. Green. So before I get started, I just want to share some predictions that I have ever since uh, the new episodes have come out. So at the end of A Tight Budget Part 2 when Thespio said why does that sound like foreshadowing uh, after our mouse said welcome to our tardis i wonder if that could be antony c's return to the series because if you forgot at the end of the red versus blue multi-parter he was not only defeated but was also banished to tartarus maybe that could be why this episode is titled red versus green because maybe he's uh, formed allegiance with the creatures of Tartarus, including the Baron. But I don't know if any of that will happen, so let's find out together. Beginning in three, two, one. Interesting choice of music. Red versus green. Oh, Miss Eliora, uh, could I speak with you for a moment, please? I have a few things I need to discuss with you before the match begins. Oh, come on, Doc. We only just got back from the void. I'm aching. We're all aching to get back into action. I assure you this won't take long, Ellie. Firstly... What brings you I'm here? I'm the official announcer here, which means I make the announcements. <laughs> <sighs> of course. My apologies, Mary Sue. By all means, fill Eliora in on our latest developments. There's a good boy. <laughs> Uh, poor Doc. Okay, so you know how that voodoo dude with no cutie mark made all those cutbacks? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, we're still kind of reeling from Tidy Whitey's penny pinching, so we don't have any replacements for your busted tomahawk yet. Eh, no biggie. I'd rather use this as my secondary weapon anyway. <laughs> oh, cool! Like Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> I think you mean Rapunzel. Mm. Sure, why not? Is that all? Yep. Okay then. Oh, and Rudolph that sweet tooth reindeer is being kicked out. And we have a new trainee on the premises. Wait, ba, 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 what? Tyan Dog has been fired? <laughs> what? <laughs> I get it, Pyro Pun. Uh... If you could pass it on to the rest of the pink team, that'd be great. Gotta go. It's not the pink team, you. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. So, is Ty and Daga actually out of the series? That's honestly unexpected, but we'll just have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know I would not say that say it again, but I can't help it. This these animations are so great. Jeez. A and Y's gone, Key's gone, Silver's gone, Sweetie's gone, Ink's gone, and now Ty's gone? Man, team members are vanishing like peanut butter blossoms. So he's actually... he actually left? Well, at least now the reds are evenly matched with the blues. Uh-oh, looks like there's one of them. Brass? Huh? Is that... Brass polish from Workaholics Anonymous? What's he doing here? And why is he in those coveralls? 
Who's he think he is? Big Daddy McCult? Uh oh. Hmm. If I set fire to those, the filthy smoke would undoubtedly get into the tallest building and take out Voice. And Fox as well. Uh, I gotta set something alight or I'm utterly useless here. Ooh, so Brass is a blue pyro trainee, huh? Hmm. Looks like they couldn't give him a proper uniform or weaponry. Thanks again, Tightwad. Well, better go up and let Bubba Retcon know about the new Pyro in training so we can see how- Hey, look who it is. Huh? Limitations or no, I'm gonna have some fun. Eh? Is that a dynamite disc? Or is Brass just as Canadian as Ty and Daga? Uh-oh. Ooh, nice. Zap Apple Jam. Oh, for the love of... A pyro's meant to be intimidating. Startling someone just isn't the same thing. I mean, I know you've got a bit of a handicap right now, Brass, but I just don't see this... I spy an epic beard! Uh-oh. Hey, Jasper, how's the match going? I think we're winning? I don't know, it just feels super weird having so few peeps around, you know? Do you think Ty will be okay? <sighs> I really don't know. He sure wasn't happy when Ari told him he'd have to leave. I hope he copes. It must be a towering disappointment to him. He could have left his flamethrower behind, though. Save me some trouble. I take it you haven't found anything to power your fiery death machine yet? Not yet. But as soon as I do, there'll be nothing to stop me from taking her out. Ah, got some makeshift weaponry in mind, huh? Sounds like you want to try and best your red team equivalent, too. Tempting, but I'd still rather wait until Doc and Ari can properly arm and outfit you. Hey, must be rough having to go into this with hardly any stuff. Uh, it's sure gonna be difficult. You and I both know what a Yay. that red monster can be. <laughs> but I shall always be the dominant one. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What? I take it back. Anyways, I gotta go back to shooting stuffs. Okay. Hey, thanks again for recommending me to Dr. Wolf. Not the problem, compadre. <clears throat> yes, <you're deep>! <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more thing. Would you happen to have a pan or something? Negatory, sorry. No. Here's uh. a frying pan for ya. Fancy a fencing match, do you? Oh yeah, his shovel. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is unexpected. I thought I took the wrong pills today. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh! <laughs> Friendly fencing match. Here he is. Get him. So, why is this discarded Saffir Breeze here? Apparently, <laughs> he's our new trainee. Trainee? I'll have you know I'm an expert. Well, uh, maybe compared to you lot, anyway. Oh, really? Well, if you're truly pyro material, you should be able to scare us into submission. Wait, wait, hold, hold on, what do you think I'm... Uh, oh, come now, let's not coddle him. Skin flinted cuts or no, this is still a battlefield. Deaf to the new bear? Mm. I'd say run. Ah, I see my fellow red team members have met our... Ew. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. poor brass. Supply train driver. Wait, what? Whoa, wait, 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 what? Supply train driver. Wait, what? Supply, Supply train driver? Train driver? But, but Mary Sue said brass was a trainee. What the flippity flop's going on here? What gives, guys? Why did you gun down our engineer? Uh. Well, if you must know, Elian Voice told us he was training to be the new Blue Pyro. I mean, come on. He had a cheap blue outfit on, he was skulking around the outskirts of the town, and he scared the Vegemite out of me. Yeah, if he's not actually trying out for the blue team, then why was he looking around for stuff to burn? And why do you think he had the stones to call me a. Yay! <laughs> Wait, what? We didn't mean you, Ellie. We were talking about October. October? Who's October? The train? <laughs> How did I not see or hear that big lumbering monster in town sooner? Oh, so they have a train? Oh, no. Did we just kill a civilian? Um... Is being trigger happy considered an illness? Because after this, I'm starting to think it is. Uh, no need to fret, everyone. I've recently discovered the respawn generator's function is not limited to reviving just mercenaries. In the event of a crossfire mishap, it can also revive those who are working behind the scenes, such as the announcer. Okay. <laughs> the spray maker. I do tend to give and receive windpipe crushing hugs. And also. Oh. Yeah, and also brass. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry about that cliche misunderstanding, brass. No hard feelings, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we love a bit of squeaky aura. <laughs> so what, you were looking for things to burn so your locomotive can make steam? That's about the size of it, yeah. Thanks to Tightwad, there's no coal left in this town. That's pretty ironic. Oh. And disconcerting, as that's why I invested here. I'll need <laughs> to speak with my lawyer. So then why did you prank me? For a larf. <sighs> When did I become the red team slapstick magnet? So if Braz isn't replacing Tyndaga, then where is he? Yeah, I haven't seen my favorite wall decoration all day. I heard that. I hate frogs. How did you know I hate frogs? Why did it have to be a frog? I hate frogs. Why did you know I hate frogs? Hey, I hate he's frogs? back. Why did it have to be a freaking frog? No, I didn't think you'd all miss me <laughs> this much. No, like, seriously, I've only been gone a single day. What gives? Where have you been? He's been sick. Just like I warned him he would be. <laughs> um, he kind of made an aid of bad batch of pancakes. Tidewad kind of oh. bought ingredients past their expiration dates. <laughs> hey, they still tasted all right. Oh. Ty Ty, you're still sick. Why don't you go back to bed and look after yourself, okay? <gasps> don't start. <laughs> well, I couldn't help but overhear the talk of me being replaced. <laughs> Not happening. They can't just drop you from the team. That violate the contract you guys signed. Oh, uh, yeah. Myself. It's the Continuity. Contract it's as tight as wad. <laughs> you don't need to worry about bad fried batter anymore, Ty. Me and October brought plenty of fresh ingredients. I feel better already. Ellie's broken. I hate frogs. I hate frogs. Except for Minecraft frogs. I hate frogs. I hate frogs. I hate frogs. And perhaps when Ellie here is recovered, she could whip us up some pancakes, shaped like Firebrand's face. Uh. What? <laughs> oh, my favorite. I call dibs on the cheeks. They're so chubby and lovely. <laughs> Is that all?
Hey, thanks again for recommending me to Dr. Wolf, though my voice cracked. <laughs> yeah, if he's not trying out for b the for b I was about to say for bum team. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you take a conversation completely out of context. True, no context is sometimes the best context, but in some cases like this, it gets frustrating. Sometimes context. Sometimes context. <laughs> I think that's all. Yeah, that's all of it. <laughs> so this episode was... Uh, in some way misleading, because I thought Ty and Daga was actually leaving the series. And this early into, I, I assumed, the new season of Analysis Anarchy. But I'm glad that I was wrong. And it was also interesting to see Brass Polish in this, because he's one of the uh, artists and editors in the series. And I think the most that he's appeared in TF2 analysis was the crew commentary videos uh, where he popped up uh, every so often. So it was cool to see him make an appearance. And I, I guess he's a new honorary member of the team being the train engineer, similar to Abby being like the spray paint maker in the team. So I guess my predictions from earlier uh, did not happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does later on in the series. But in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, be sure to leave a like and comment below on your thoughts on the episode that I watched. And be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on when I react to the next episode in Analysis Anarchy. As always, I'm KSCG. Wash your hands. And make sure you drink some water. <laughs>